What is up guys, Tomcat here, and today we are in Spin Tires checking out a new map called Canyonland. Now I've never been on this map before and I've brought along a couple of vehicles that are very different and good for very different things. This is a, the Chevy ZR2 pre-runner, and this is pretty much a race truck, right? It's not a rock crawler, it's not made for that kind of thing. And then over here, on the other side of the, well, I almost said parking lot, but it's not really a parking lot. Uh, we have a YJ Crawler. This YJ Crawler is a particularly badass YJ Crawler because it can pretty much go anywhere. Not quite as, well, not quite as badass as the orange YJ Crawler that's just crazy, but this one still packs a hell of a punch. Now, I'm going to put the ex fire extinguisher on it, the jack and winch, and the spare. Just so we're fully outfitted and ready to go. And we're going to start exploring around in this first. And then we're going to take that uh, Chevy ZR2 out and see what we can do with it. Because it's not really a trail-focused truck, but it's it's still very good. Now, the map in question already is looking very, very nice. The, uh, the actual scenery is very, very good. I mean, if you look back there, you already got a nice view right off the bat from the start. And... Everything seems to be laid out pretty nice. I've got to say everything seems to be laid out pretty nicely. There isn't really a lot of crazy uh, Like jumbled up scenery like a lot of people they're like, oh, we need to there's a swamp over there We can go in there later There's a lot of people that they they make a map and they're like we need to like just put trees all over the freaking place and I like it when they they have like a woods environment, but they kind of thin it out just a little bit so you can really see the terrain and not just woods. And I think that's really cool. So if we go straight, it looks like we go through some mud and then we have a rock section or we could go straight down through here. There's also that swamp trail that we saw earlier. What I'm going to do, I think, is go this way, keep going up to where it, uh, there's a fuel station. And then maybe, I don't know if there's a way to go down here, it doesn't really look like there is except going off a cliff. Maybe come back, see if I could go down through here maybe? It looks like it's a waterfall though. Uh, but somehow cross over the river and they either come back this way, do a little loop. This is not going to be a one exploration, like a one run exploration. It's going to take multiple videos to explore this map, I'm sure. But this looks like it'd be a great one to do in multiplayer with Jeep Guy. Now, a lot of you guys have been saying that the, uh, the, the desert map that I did recently, you guys really want to see multiplayer on that, and I completely get that. I want to do multiplayer on that map really badly. I'm um, actually, later today, literally as, well, not later to, well, actually, yes, later today, like, the day that I'm recording this, literally when you guys see this video, I will be up on the tail of the dragon driving the S2000, and I'll be up there with, actually, with Jeep Guy. So, oh, that, see, that's a cool view. Look at that. See, this, when I said Canyonland, I was really hoping for it to be, like, truthful. And there was actually canyons involved. And I was not disappointed. Look at that. That looks awesome. That's really cool. And I think they did a great job. I'm already in love with this map. And it might not be the most polished map. I mean, some of the, some of the terrain types look a little wonky, but... And some of the hills are a little bit weird, like, weirdly edged. But it's it's honestly not the end of the world. I, I Like, for a map like this especially, I still like it. I, I really do still like it. So, I'm going to see, first off, if there's... Is that literally the only way down? Oh my god. You gotta get into the throttle. Uh oh. Yeah, that'd be a challenge to get down without, you know, without that ending up happening. But let me see. If I move the wheels back and forth, can I basically correct it and have it fall back down onto all four wheels? I don't think so, though, because the center of gravity is all screwed up. So we're gonna have to grab the pre runner. And unlike an actual pre-runner, which pre-runners, as you can see, there's no front axles on this thing. It's made, it's made to be rear-wheel drive. But, since this is spin tires, it's technically, I mean, we have, you know, diff lock and all-wheel drive. So even though they aren't actually there physically, we can still kind of, like, use them as though they were there. So, but this thing has amazing suspension. As you can see, it can take any kind of jump you want. So, there's a little bit of lumber area over there, and what I'm going to do, I think, is probably try to run along the edge of the river and see if I can get up to where that jeep is. 
Well, this river's actually not that bad, like, as far as deep. It's not that, that badly deep. Okay. Oh, right there, it's easy to cross over. Dude, this map is so freaking cool, though. It's so cool, and I really like it. That's the other thing about Spin Tires Plus, is that even if, like, a map has cloaks on it, it, like, Spin Tires Plus, one of the features of it is auto-remove all cloaking, so you're, like, you're good. You don't have to worry about it whatsoever. Now, uh, since we're here, winch to that back bumper, and back up, and she's good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the, well, actually, just as an experiment, that hasn't worked at all. <laughs> like, literally, that hasn't worked whatso- Look at where that is! The only way to save- Well, actually, I think we can probably save it, even though I don't really think we need to. Alright, back it up. <laughs> it's trying! It's trying, it's coming out of there, it's coming out of it, it's just- I'm curious as to what's gonna happen once it gets to the- Well, wait, okay, we can- We can fix that later, I just wanted to see if it could actually pull it out of that hole. Now, on to the next area of the map, now on the other side of the river, so... I'm- I'm still kind of baffled as to how you're supposed to get down that without flipping over, I mean, maybe a lot of throttle coming down the hill so you don't, uh, so you don't upset the balance and kind of pitch the jeep the wrong way, but at the same time, that's a little sketchy, I mean, the only way I can see to do it would be to come down that other trail that we came down in the Chevy, but that defeats the purpose of that bridge being there. So, I don't know. There's we there may we may have missed something, but I'll go back and figure it out because I didn't see anything though. It was weird. I didn't see anything back there. Now, oh this is cool. I like how there's like tree roots in the trail and stuff like that. That's awesome. Lots of cool details. I mean, this map could could do with a bit more refining, but the the core details to make a good map are definitely there. They're definitely there, and they work really well. Now, what's over here? Another... Oh, dude, another canyon. Dude, hell yeah, look at that. It's like grass over there. That's cool. This map just keeps getting cooler and cooler. How do we get over there? We, oh, we literally stay along the edge of the river. Like, we have to go back and stay along the edge of the river. That's not that big of a deal. I mean, like, the river's right over there, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, but once we get over there and we'll just follow the edge of the river to the, um, to that little rock crawling section. Because it looks like there's a rock crawling section, and then you unlock a truck, and then you come out into that more grassy area. So, we'll head over there. And see if we can make it over there, no problem. I mean, this Jeep, this Jeep can pretty much do whatever you want it to uh, at any given time. And go anywhere you want it to at any given time. So I'm not really concerned about if this Jeep can make it or not. Yeah, that river's not bad at all. We can just drive right through it. Dude, we're not even worrying about anything at all. Like, no, we're not worrying about, um, like, water damage. Things got it covered. We do, and I like how there's so much, like, vertical variation in this map. You don't really get that with a lot of spin tires maps. And this one really does a good job of pulling it off. It's like, even though it's not super, ref like, I mean, well, it's pretty well refined, but it's not, like, insanely well refined. But the thing is, the core elements, like, what the hell is that for? The core elements of a really good map with, with a lot of, like, vertical, like, variation and stuff like that are definitely there. And I applaud what he's done. This section is awesome. Get some nice flex angles going, and yeah, dude. Is this gonna be muddy? You know, actually not that bad. Wow. Things just, cr just This thing's just cruising along. Now, when you come out to here, you come out to a garage, which the garage area is a little muddy. Now, is it locked? Yes, it is. I didn't even notice that it was locked earlier. If you run up back behind it, you find an 8x8. And the 8x8... Oh, dude, can we get on top of the roof? I want to get on the roof so bad. Can 
Gonna have to like follow this edge right here. Work our way just around that tree. Because if we can work our way just around the tree, then... Ooh. Oh, come on. Oh, God. Oh, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> there, perfect. Up, 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 up. Yes, yes, oh yes, we've made it. We're officially on the roof of the garage, and what's weird is that we are, oh, 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 the roof ends before the, wow, okay, thanks for that game, I, I appreciate it. <laughs> not really a, uh, not really a brilliant result, but I'll take it, and I'll go the other way this time. I'll take that result because it allows me to just rescue back to the garage and try a different direction. Because, ooh, what's out there? Oh, is that like literally you just jump into, yeah, you do. Is that, what is that? What? What? That is the, like, that is the cutest ship I have ever seen. And <laughs> what, what the hell? Why is that even there? It's so tiny. Can I push it? Or is it like... Is it like 100% solid? Oh my god, it's like solid and you run into it. That's hilarious. Look, the jeep is beached on it. It's stuck on it. That's funny. Are we seriously... Are we seriously out of range of... Yeah, God dang it, we are. Okay, you know what? We're, again, we were right there. So I'm not going to care about it. And I'm going to go. And probably put it back into, oops. Put it back into, oh God. Ugh. That way, that way. What's over there? Anything interesting over there? That's the cool thing about like exploring a new map. You're like, huh, is there anything interesting over there? And the answer to our question, was there anything interesting over here, is, eh, and eh, game crash. Not really, but the, the game uh, acted like it was going to crash. Is that a trail? Yes, it is. Gets a little steep for a second, but I, you know it's not going to be, you know it's not even going to be an issue for this thing. This thing is just going to walk it. Like I said, this thing's going to walk, I mean, it just, it shifted down, but... I should have put it in either low or high before going up the hill. Yeah, this transmission. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like this transmission. Not at all. Oh, this is cool, though. You can, like, head up behind the garage. I like this. Oh, I like this. You got your objective up here? I like this a lot. That's a cool setup. Like, everything was made to have... Every trail was made to have a point to it. That's cool. And while I like the off-road park maps and, and maps that are literally just focused on, you know, exploring and, and finding good trails, this is awesome. And a lot of you guys actually said in one of my previous videos, you were like, more, you know, we want to see more mud maps, you know, enough with the rock crawling. And I'm, I'm cool with that. Like, this, this map's awesome because it's a mixture of mud and hills and, and just really cool views. I like it. I think you guys should all download it. <laughs> I'll put a link in the description box below to where you guys can um, can download this map from because uh, this is really a really good map that definitely deserves to be in your collection because you don't even need crazy vehicles to have fun here. You can pretty much use whatever you want, but you can use your crazier vehicles to get to uh, like more difficult more difficult areas on the map. Like if you wanted to do this map with like stock trucks, you probably could. Like the stock trucks that come with the game. You probably could, and that's cool. Like, you, you you could probably do it with, with those trucks, and you could also get to some crazier areas by using, you know, some crawlers and that kind of thing. But regardless of that, I want to see, before we end this first part of Canyonland, well, mm, 
do we think it's possible to go down the waterfall? Oh god. Well, so far it's possible. Needed to use the first person view to see where I was. I just don't know. Well, so far so good. Little slick, but not bad. You know what? I'm going to back up and take a slightly different route if it'll, well, if I can. Mm, not quite. Yeah, not quite. All right. Uh, I'm going to put in low three and just crawl forward so I can use the brakes whenever I want. And it's not going to think I want reverse. That's an angle. Don't you... Oh. Well, that, that went well. Oh, dear. Hey, we're all right. <laughs> it's like, hey, look, we're all right. But at this point, I'm just going to drive out of here. Oh, no way. Okay, so there is a little trail. I remember that's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. It goes under the bridge. That's a really weird spot to put it, but once you find it, that it that's cool. That would be your route, and it comes down that really steep part right there. That would kind of be your route to get down here, I think. If you wanted to do it without flipping your way down anyway. <laughs> Bring a roll cage to Canyonland. But anyways, oh damn, look at that flex. That's freaking awesome. Ooh, don't tip. Don't tip. Wow. Wow. That's, that's gnarly. That is nasty. Okay, well, if you guys enjoyed this video and this little first look at Canyonland, don't forget to click the like button. Tell me in the comments below what you thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see more of these videos every day in your inbox. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.